in my lifetime, wala pa namang nag-files. Ay, hindi, hindi kahit nangurot. Wala pa akong kasong kahit nangurot lang. Kahit sumakit ng masama again someone else, hindi ko pa ginagawa yan after my life-changing experience. And you can check that with all my blogs, my web pages, and all my speeches. Even in speaking, hindi ako nanginginsulto ng kapwa-tao kasi ayoko na magkaroon ng kaaway. I make sure I don't have hate in my body because hate in your body causes you to do something which is not good. Kahit pangurot, wala akong kahit reklamo na nangurot ako na nampal ako. That's all I can say. So, Paano niyo naman nasasabi na takot sila kay Arnie Tevez? Kasi yung mga pangalan at mga pamilya nila ay talagang patakutan. Makatatakot talaga. Diyan ba sa probinsya ninyo, sa Negros Oriental, hmm, meron kayong mga, sa tingin niyo ba, meron private army mga Tevez, may private army mga Digamo? Ay, sa tingin ko, si Digamo, hindi ko alam kung may private private uh, army, pero yung alam ko, ang naka, naka sa kay late Digamo is yung mga army. Pero yung sa hindi kay... Hindi private. Di, yung, pag sinabi army, yung Philippine army. Oo, oh, Philippine army. Yung, oh, yung private uh, army something. Like so, no, no, no private army si late Digamo. But the TBC's brothers, the TBC's have, Paano niyo po nalaman na meron po mga security ko an yung mga security blue guard blue guard lang yes. Il- ilan sa tingin niyo private ang mga miyembro ng private armies nila hindi po ko alam wala kong so, nakita niyo meron siyang private army si Nate Digamo hindi. oh si Tibis so hindi ko well, hindi ko alam so here say lang pero blue guard yon mana may na ano security ng bahay nila yon Hindi po. Marami. Marami. Okay. Thank you, Senator Jinkoy. Um, Honorable Henry Tevez, totoo bang tinatakutan yung pamilya ninyo doon sa Negros Oriental? So far, so tinatakutan ba kayo doon? I can only speak for myself. Ha? I cannot speak for anybody else. Yes, uh, you're a TV, so you have a Because I know for mga myself, tibis. in my lifetime, wala pa namang nag-files. Ay, hindi, hindi kahit nangurot. Wala pa akong kasong kahit nangurot lang. Kahit sumakit ng masama against someone else, hindi ko pa ginagawa yan after my life-changing experience. And you can check that with all my blogs, my web pages, and all my speeches. Even in speaking, hindi ako nanginginsulto ng kapwa-tao kasi ayoko na magkaroon ng kaaway. I make sure I don't have hate in my body because hate in your body causes you to do something which is not good. Kahit pangurot, wala akong kahit reklamo na nangurot ako na nampal ako. That's all I can say, Mr. Chairman. Okay, uh, just... Uh... You represent yourself and uh, you do not represent uh, Arnie Tevez. So, as far as you are concerned, hindi ka dapat katatakutan. Well, we're both adults. You know, well, you know, he has the right to defend himself. He okay. has the right to speak for himself. Adult siya. Yeah. Ako rin, I'm, I'm my own person. It would not be proper for me to speak. Representing others, I can only speak for myself yeah, uh, and maybe my children and my direct family whom I raised. That's duly noted by this committee. Yes, sure. Thank you for that. Uh, Mr. Chair, can, yes, Mr. Chair, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, Chair uh, okay, the former Governor Davis, according to uh, Madam Tison, we are on the private army. Is it true? Uh, I don't think so, sir. I don't think so. At yung in fact, kanina I was listening. Yung nasabi ni ma'am na yung lawyer doon na namatay several years back outside the court, he was my uncle. He was the brother of my father's sister, Attorney Elisteria. Just for the record. Thank you. Brother of your? He is the husband of the sister of my, my, my father. My uncle. Okay. Yes. Yeah, you, you want to say something, uh, Mayor Bigamo? Please. Sir, um, 
the brother of attorney Elisteria is supposed to be here today had he not been stroke nahiwi iyang baba mga good sir he failed to join but he was supposed to be here okay yes that's why I am saying that it is true what uh, uh, governor, former governor Teves said na magka-relative sila pero totoo po na may reklamo din sa pamilya nila ang kapatid ni Attorney Elisteria. Okay, that's uh, duly noted. Ma'am, alam mo, marami pa kayo ha? Uh, uh, may gusto ka pa idagdag para... Mr. Chairman, yes. if, if I may, before, uh, before, before, before Mr. Chairman, thank you, thank you. Kasi, Mr. Chairman, I've been getting a lot of calls, especially from our good friend, our uh, fraternity brother, si uh, Congressman uh, Bong Teves. Just wanted to put again on record, medyo wawa din naman kasi nagpunta rin siya ng Korea, eh, official visit, Mr. Chairman. Just to put on record, and again, uh, let me reiterate, hindi po si Congressman Bong Teves ang ating pinag-uusapan. Congressman Arnie Teves. Yung binanggit din po natin kanina, sa pagdinig, na nakita uh, several times, April 13 and April 14, doon sa Korea, doon sa hotel na binanggit natin, malapit sa Myeongdong, eh mismong si Congressman Arnie Teves. Hindi po si Congressman Bong Teves. Iba po yun, dalawa po yung uh, Teves kasi na pinag-usapan. Nakakalungkot lang po kasi ang dami yung nag-detect sa kanya daw. Akala daw po siya na eh, galing, nagkataon pa na, na, na nagpunta po siya sa Korea ng mga time po niya. As an official uh, trip po ng House of Representatives. So, is, just to put on record. Party list na? Party list, PGP. PGP. Mr. President. Kaugawa. He's our uh, fraternity brother. Yes, Mr. President. Mr. Chairman, thank but you. But still, this Congressman Tevez. Yes, still but Congressman Tevez. But not Arnie Tevez. Not Arnie Tevez. We talk about this morning, Mr. Chairman, before... Uh, Before, uh, well, this morning, Mr. Chairman, yeah. time check is 3.11. Thank you for that clarification. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Just to put it later. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Ma'am, uh, para matapos na yung sa side mo. Para... Uh, itanong ko lang kay Mayor Tebes. Oh, uh, ex-Mayor. Pwede? Sa akin, sa akin. Oh, sa yung yung, yung, eh, anong ginawa niya during his administration? Yung mga various feelings sa Bayouan City. Mga? Mga ginawa, mga, anong mga investigasyon na... Ni, ginawa niya during oh, during his administration na siya ang mayor yeah, na siya ang mayor sa mga killings mga killings oh. mga ilang killings yung alam mo Ay, dami marami da mga dami. ilan mga number uh, estimate mga kasi mahirap yung magtanong uh, 50, ng abstract question 50? dito sa other resource person more or less 50 50 oh yes bayawan yes bayawan sa pagkakilala ah Under more like Henry Tevez, uh, uh, you can respond to that if uh, you want to. Uh, around 50 killings happened in Bayaro, Bayawan during, during your uh, term as uh, mayor. And uh, they, they would like to know what did you do with I that killings. I cannot um, respond killings. to that, sir, but this is I, what I am sure of that I did during my six years. I gave su full support to the PNP. And I increased the number of CCTVs all around Bayawan City from about a mere 30 to about 150. That's also the reason why now during the latest incident, the authorities were able to make extensive use of those uh, uh, CCTVs I placed. And I made sure that Bayawan City had all the motorcycles, radio equipment, uh, everything that the PNP wanted. As far as the Bayawan City Police Force is concerned. Uh, yeah, as far as the Bayawan resolution of those alleged 50 well, killings. Because as Mayor Kaman, sir, di ba, hindi yeah. naman ikaw ang nagsusolve ng kaso. There's, there, there are policemen, there are no enforcement, there's NBI also in Bayawan. What you can do as mayor is support them and make sure they're well-funded. Then they, When they need resources, logistics, everything, they have it during the time that they need it. Yes, uh, as far sorry, as mayor. But, but is it true that during your tenure as mayor of uh, Bayao, there were 50 killings? 50? Yeah. According <laughs> to Madam Tisa. Well, this is the only what I can say as mayor of Bayao, sir. Uh, you should know because you were the mayor. I don't think so. Mayor din tayo, kaya I don't think so. Kung 
answer. I, I don't think so. so In natin. fact, well, when I was mayor, sir, for two years, I was a regional finalist and a national semi-finalist for Dangal ng Bayan. And I had my Seal of Good Governance Award. And for six years, no, I never had any single what about, what about COA the, audit. What about the crime rate during your term? Sir, Does I think the PNP can answer that. Kung, kung tumaas ba yung crime rate sa six years na nandun mo ako at anong ginawa ko. I think they're, they're much better positioned. Yeah, sir. I think uh, biased uh, mo ako eh. the director of JDG is uh, raising his hand. 